Hello, my friends. I'm going to be doing a pour today, but first I would like to share with you something quite exciting. I have opened up an online store for wearable art with Le Galerista. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. That's French, and I can't say anything besides we. Oui. Hmm. Anyway, um, let's take a look at my page, if you will indulge me. Oops. By the way, if anyone's interested, um, I did a video on painting this iris. Check my embellishments playlist. So they have wonderful designs. I love this one. It's a kimono. Um, let's click on one and, and uh, check it out a little closer. And that's this is a one size fits all. There's the front and the back. Here's a picture of what a kimono looks like on someone, the length and the sheerness of it. And then it's based on this artwork, which you may have seen the video of. Over here you've got all the details, the length, uh, it's machine washable. They do have a size chart. But as I said, this was a one-size-fits-all. But um, I've heard the chart is very true to size. If anything, it runs a little, pieces are a little bit larger, which is, I think, always a good thing. So let me see, how do I get back? Let's look at some of the other items. They have these wonderful tunic tops. I've ordered several of them. And right now, through March 31st, they're having a sale. Almost everything... Well, I think they said everything, but I'm not certain of that, is 20% off. They're not inexpensive, but you're not going to find anything like this anywhere else. And they are very well made. The quality is good from everything I've read. I'm, I've ordered several pieces, which I will be um, wearing around as advertising. <laughs> and I've got plus sizes in some of the things. And it's all have quite an assortment of items. Look at this. That's just a reversible dress. Let me look at it in another one. Let's check it out in this in this one. So two dresses in one. It's quite elegant looking I think and there's the model and the artwork upon which it was based. I'm sorry, I'm holding my phone in my hand. It's not the the best. Um, there are the sizes. I mean the description and sizes. I can request just about anything in various sizes. But at this point, I not everything is available in plus sizes. Look at that dress. I wish I was young enough to be able to wear that. Yeah, it's so pretty. And whoops, I should stop scrolling over the item, but uh, anyway, they have long, long sleeve, kind of a knit dress, cowl neck, tunics, headbands. This is kind of a nice item, this duster. I've ordered one of those for myself. They come in both um, all sizes. And this is a nice one. Look at that. It's kind of a oops, zippered sporty jacket. Tank tops, t-shirts, and even leggings. Pillows and tote bags. So that's all I have on my site for now, but I'm going to be adding more as time allows, and um, as of tomorrow, actually, I will have some more on there. And then I'm just going to let it ride for a while and see if I sell any. <laughs> I have ordered a few things in bulk that I'm going to be able to sell on my website, but for the most part, it, this is the easy way for me to go. You place an order, they make it custom, takes a couple of weeks for them to produce it and then they send it to you so um, I get a little commission on it but 
not a lot, but uh, I didn't have to do much work other than setting this thing up and submitting my artwork. So there you go. I'll put the link down below in case you're interested in looking further. I do thank you for indulging me with this, and now let's get to today's pour. Okay, I'm conducting an experiment today. You know how I like to experiment. So I'm using a small canvas. It's a 10 by 10 deep canvas. I love this size. I think they're just cute. They're substantial enough to make a nice piece on its own if it works, but I haven't spent uh, too much on paint if it doesn't work. So the experiment today, I had mixed up a large batch of my polyacrylic mix, and I had a good amount left over, but I hadn't used it in two months' time, and it had kind of separated the ingredients. So I shook it up and let it sit to settle any bubbles, and I'm going to use it now to see if, um, over time, if it its uh, qualities diminish. So we shall see. I'm just using four colors, Artist Loft Black, a mix of Artessa's Golden Hour, which I love, but I wanted to jazz it up even further, so I added some Prism Pour Ultra Metallics in Mayan Gold, I think it was, to come up with this beautiful, rich gold color. Um, Artist Loft White, and then I added some Satin Enamel, and Modern Masters in Antique Bronze. Then I did a little consistency test with the dots and tilting it to see how they compared. And obviously this one is the thinnest. It didn't, didn't really feel like it as I stir it, but um, it is. And it's not a bad consistency, but I, I really felt the black was what I wanted for this ring pour I'm gonna be doing. So I don't wanna thin all these to match the thinnest one. I'm gonna just let that one slide the white is a little thin, but I don't want to add any more water to it. And um, the gold and the black are pretty similar. So I'm going for it, even though they're not the same consistency. I just don't want to make them any thinner. In fact, I added a little bit more paint to this one to thicken it up somewhat. So. Here we go. This is the order I'm using. I'm going to separate the black from the white with these other two colors. I'm going to do two layers, I think, and do a ring pour. So here we go. So I'm going to pour about half of that in there. Here's the consistency. It's on the thick side. As always, I will put the recipe and colors I use down below. It's about half of that. Hmm. This is kind of... No, I'm not going to... I was thinking of pouring it up high, but I don't want to end up with a lot of, a lot of gray. So we'll just let it, it be white rather than worry too much about a cloud effect. It's a beautiful color, that antique bronze. I'll turn it this way. No, I won't. <laughs> I'll just keep pouring here. Rest of the black. To the gold. Um, not, I don't think I'll do all the white. Good amount, but I have some left over just because it has that satin enamel in there and other bronze. Okay. Let me quickly show you something. Um, 
You may recall this cod pour I did. Uh, I didn't use this mix, but I just used flow troll for this. But I did the same, um, I'm doing the same kind of pour. And I, I never worry about the corners because I paint them afterwards. Once I'm happy with the composition, I go in and fill in the blanks. And I did that, and that's what I want to show you. Um, I just picked up, well, I mixed a color that I felt was complimentary because those are gone. And I filled in the gaps. And I really like the way that looks. So that's what I do. I never worry about any voids on the side. Am I showing you that in the camera? I'm not sure. I never worry about any voids because I just filled them in with that kind of treatment. And I like the way that looks. So rather than sacrifice composition, I stop and fix it later. Okay. And here we go. It's a paper cup, so I'm going to be able to make a little spout out of it. Pretty much a straight pour in the center. Rotating my wrist. Uh, here comes black finally. I've not yet varnished that one I just showed you. I'm looking forward to it, but uh, I wait till I have at least 10 pieces. And then I do them all at once. If I had any concerns about the white, too much white, that didn't happen. I'm really liking this area right here where the gold and the brown mix together. It's quite pretty. Okay. Move around, see what we get. I forgot my apron. I'm wearing a pretty nice shirt today. <laughs> I better be careful. See, isn't that pretty in there? Right there, I like that. I'm going to cover the, kind of cover the whole surface and then I'll think about composition. I mean, I'm always thinking about it. If I see something happening that I like, I will keep in mind to try to save it. I like that. It's kind of blah. I'm going to sacrifice that. I really like the drama of this dark area.
Okay. Moving the weight back to the center. I'll set it down and move it around different orientations and see what's what. Not getting a huge, well, cloud effect, but but some. I, I don't think I've ever tried it, uh, expect it to work with this polycrylic mix, so who knows. The one time I, I did it long ago, um, I had a, one of my most popular videos, and I was complaining about it, didn't like the way it looked, and man, I wish I had kept it because um, everybody liked it liked it and thought I was crazy for not liking it and I've never been able to duplicate it but I used milk paint and they no longer make the milk paint that uh, gave me that effect so that's too bad well you know what I'm uh, let me turn around look different views I think I like it. I'm going to turn it towards you in that orientation, just as is. I wonder if I want to stretch this out a little bit more, though. Just a fraction. Make sure the weight is in the center and then just a little bit, and then I might bring it back. A little bit, I said, and I'm running it all. I'm running that white stripe all the way to the edge. And then back because I, I really have quite a bit of um, paint on the surface here. And while I like the drama of the dark, this is far more interesting over here. So. again. Huh. I don't know. Am I making you dizzy? I don't know which way I like it. I'm, I'll, I'll stop turning it. Let me bring you in for a closer look. Oh, maybe I should hit it with a torch first. See what's what. There are some things popping up. Ooh, a lot of air bubbles probably popping, which are creating little tiny cells. That's okay. There's no silicone in here. I like it. A very wonderful shimmer. You can kind of see it in that corner there from the uh, prison pour. It's interesting. I'm I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> okay, my friends. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye now.